Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Play Arts Kai Resident Evil 6 Leon Kennedy figure. Now, this one came out a while ago. Uh, I just happened to get it in here because somebody sent it to me so that I could turn it into a custom, or so that I might be able to turn it into a custom. We're not sure if we're actually going to do it or not yet, but he wanted me to take a look at it. So anyway, I figured I would review it while I have it either way, so that you get to see it. It's uh, not the most popular Resident Evil game in the world. And this figure is not the best in the world, but if you did like the game, I'll tell you right now, you might like the figure. It's not too bad, it's not too great, but it's definitely good enough. So, uh, I'm pretty okay with it. There's some decent shading throughout all of the jacket and pants. The boots have kind of a glossy look to them, and, and the face isn't too bad. It does have kind of this weird shading on the face that we've seen before, but... It's not too bad at all, so let's get him off the stand and take a look at him up close. Alright, so this guy stands roughly 24 centimeters to the top of his head, which makes him just about 9.5 inches. So he's not one of the smaller Play Arts figures, but he's not one of the larger ones. He's kind of average. And like I said, he's got kind of a generally good look to him. Decent paintwork, decent sculpt work, no problem there. As far as accessories go, we have the one head only, we have the two relaxed hands, and then we have two pistol hands, pistol holding hands. So those are pretty good. Let's get a little closer so you can see those. Nicely sculpted. The hands are a little stiff. I wish they would use softer plastic on more of these kind of hands. They're very stiff. We have the two pistols, which are nicely detailed. They look pretty good. Two tones of plastic, so that's good. And then we have a rifle with a knife connected to the front. Kind of a camo paint job. Doesn't really match the figure that well, but it's nicely done. Very good looking accessory so it's pretty cool that's it though not a, not the most accessories in the world as far as the figure itself goes like i said the face has kind of this weird shading going on it's not the worst but it's definitely not great uh the rest of it's painted pretty well though i like that they did the zippers pretty cleanly and that kind of thing the goatee or the stubble if you want to call it that looks pretty good also so that's all right as far as the head articulation it's just a double ball peg pretty limited uh, pretty not I'm sorry it's not very limited you can get pretty good range of motion out of it and it looks pretty good so I'm okay with that I think it looks it's it's definitely good enough and it looks pretty good the jacket is a soft material so it won't be uh, in the way of any of your posing at all so that's a good thing shoulders are on that old school butterfly joint which I'm okay with it's not great it doesn't look the best but this one's not too bad and it allows him to bring his arm around the front a little bit better so you can put his put him in some kind of tactical stances if you want to we have our standard ball peg that connects the arm to the butterfly joint so it moves around on that. And then we have the hinge part also. Doesn't allow him to bring the arm out completely horizontally, but it's not too bad. The wrists, the elbows are the standard Pirates Kai ratcheted ball hinge, so it'll swivel at the top and bottom and have the hinge. And then the wrists are on that same type of joint. For the diaphragm joint, I believe it's a double ball peg. I didn't take it all the way apart to see since I don't own it, but I, I'm almost positive it's a double ball peg. Gives him good range of motion. This is a soft plastic also, so you won't really have any trouble posing his torso. There's a single ball peg going down, or actually going up into the lower torso for the lower abdomen, which gives him even more range of motion. Another swivel, and he has no problem posing all the way around and having really nice range, which is one of the reasons I was kind of looking forward to turning this into a custom. So hopefully that pans out. We'll see how that goes. He has the floating crotch piece, which isn't super saggy or anything, so that's a good thing. No diaper here. He has the ratcheted hips, so they go all the way out to the side, all the way forward, no problem there. And then we have our thigh swivel built in, but it's really stiff, so I don't know if it wants to just not move or if it just doesn't isn't able to move, but it's pretty stiff for the thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, it's not the best looking knee joint out of any Play Arts figure, but it's not the worst, it's acceptable, I suppose. And then for the ankles, we have the same type of joint as we have in the wrists and elbows, but the pants are very stiff, so you have minimal range of motion in the feet. Just enough to get him to stand, basically, and that's it. So that's going to limit the posing somewhat, but generally he's a pretty good-looking figure, pretty well executed, and he's really cheap at this point. So if you want to pick him up, I'd say it's definitely worth what he's going for currently. I don't know what his original price tag is, but I think at Big Bad Toy Store you can get him for like 40 bucks. So that's pretty good for a 9.5 inch Play Arts figure. So check it out if you want to. There's a link in the description below. But I do recommend it. Don't expect it to be the best figure in the world. But it's definitely good enough. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.